Hey guys, welcome back to our mod review here. We're going to be reviewing Clay Soldier's mod, as you've probably already read in the title already. So, yeah. Basically, there are different color soldiers, and they attack each other. So, let me give you guys an example. You don't really need that many, but we'll just put out one right now. This is a uh, Magenta soldier, and they're going to fight. And other soldiers are going to gather up and get them. As you can see, they killed it. But if you use this thing, it kills all of them. It's called the Clay Disruptor. Get rid of all of them. But it leaves the bodies. That's still a problem sometimes. So, to show you guys this a little bit better, I'm going to fix this here. We have a couple arenas, as you can see. We're going to put this up. This is going to be very basic here. Make sure nothing there in these chests. Okay. Our red soldier here. Actually, two, two, two of these. Two more. Okay. Let's make sure nothing's here. I'm going to get rid of these. No, they can't. They can't spawn those. And uh, three stacks of these here. Okay. Now these guys are going to fight, and they're going to do it in a weird way. You'll see. Let these down. And now they're just going to kill each other really quickly. But when they die, they leave the bodies. That's because later on during the thing, there's clay. And you can use the uh, clay to revive them. And they can also revive each other. There's a bunch of like different accessories that they can have. This is going to take a while to finish off, but we'll watch it. They also, uh, when they see other people, they run towards them. It looks like the Reds won. Okay. Kill. Alright, looks like I won, actually. Now we just have to pick these up so that way they can't revive each other. Alright, so, as I mentioned, there's different things that they can do. Right here, here's a horse, right? If we put this, he can actually ride the horsey. Look. And see, he's a cowboy now. There's also, uh, different weapons that they can each have. Ah, and they can, there's also different types of animals. So I'll show you some animals first. And there's also geckos. There's a ton of different types of geckos. So we're going to throw these out. And, uh, also pegasus. Alright. These are some of the basic animals. There's turtles, but those are for, like, water and stuff. Alright, and there's also different color horses. Wow, I spun a lot of those. Okay. Three times better. We spawn a gecko. No, we spawn one, never mind. So look, they're on they are on the gecko, and they're on the horsey, and they're on the Pegasus. The Pegasus can fly, by the way. Now there's also the bunnies. These guys are pretty cool. You're about to see why. They can jump really high. And, if we do this, they can also attack each other on these things. So, we'll just kill you and we'll put some purple ones over here. And now they're going to have an awesome fight. I'm also going to spawn some more horses. So that's essentially what they do. Uh, for all of what these things do, I will leave a link to the actual mod itself. And the mod actually has a pretty good uh, detail on what they do. So yeah. Here we have a village. This is the cool thing though. I'll show you this. Hold on. If we get some... 
let's say we get some jungle wood, right? We can do this. We can spawn them. Oh, we need a stack of this. And this works with all wood. They just make different buildings, right? We put these out here, and then we throw this wood out. They will pick up the wood, and they will start to build a house, like you can see over there. Oh, there, there it is, there it is. Ooh, wow, they built a ton. It only takes 20 wood to build a house. And, uh, sometimes, if the houses are bigger, different wood make different, uh, types of houses, though. Wow, they made a bunch. Uh, there can be chests in some of the bigger houses. Like this one, for example. I guess this one's like a castle or something. But there's a chest in here, and they can get these sticks. And with the sticks, they can arm each other. So, this is basically what's going to happen, is that uh, they can get the sticks, and there's also a bunch of different types of armor and stuff. So, this is this is for later, guys. As you can see over here, these people are all riding animals, but they also have the melon. They can eat the melon, and they can heal themselves. So, this is all about melon and stuff. The flint, once they get the stick, they can actually sharpen the stick, and uh, the stick will get like much much better and it can do like I think it's like twice as much damage but here's here's a better example of what really happens here's all of the horses and stuff right the bunnies and whatnot okay so this is a purple guy and a green guy they're not going to hurt each other because they can't hurt each other if they have wood and they also can't hurt each other if they're sitting down so, for example, the glowstone makes them glow. I'm going to show this to you guys in just a second. As soon as we can get out of this arena. It's not time for this yet. There's a bunch of different recipes, but I'll show you guys the basic ones. Now, if we give these little soldiers some glowstone, make sure it's the dust, too. I think they can use both, but dust works the best. If you give him glow stone. Now he glows. I think we're going to need more dust. Oop. Nope. Go in there. Go in there. Maybe he is glowing. That's interesting. Oh, yeah. They're glowing. They're glowing. Also, so this makes them glow, and also there's glue here. Oh, not glue, slime. Slime balls. If they throw the slime balls at each other or a different uh, thing, it will make it will make them a. How do I put it? If they they throw it at each other, and it makes them stick. I'm just gonna do a little example of that. All right. So now he has a slime ball. We're gonna spawn one of these babies. Oh, see, right there, that's the slime ball, and he's stuck. Now he can't move. You can also view the soldier, and what it's like to be them. I hit shift to get out of it. Yeah, all right. So after throwing all this, if we give them sticks, they become pretty powerful. Now, if we give them a diamond, this is the best part, they become a super soldier. And now, guess what we're going to do? This is green, so we're going to spawn a stack of blues over here. And this one super soldier is going to take out, like, probably the whole stack of blues. Because he's good like that. They also have a little bit of help. But this one super soldier is basically going to last for a while. So he's just taking a beating. But he's going to win. He's going to win. He's killed like a bunch so far. The super soldier can die though. Let's not forget that. Well, we're waiting for this. Let me show you something. Let me show you something else. Uh, gold nuggets. If you give one of them a gold nugget, they instantly become king. So watch. And now, as soon as someone gets it, yeah. See that one super soldier killed all of them. Wow, that is ridiculous. 
Alright, now I think we can make him king. Yep, now he's king. Now he's a king and a super soldier. This is the interesting thing, is once they're king, they like to follow. Other, other ones like to follow him. See? Ugh, recording really uses up the per second. Now if we do this, ready? We can we can watch from their point of view. And it's just a big it's a big battle. I wanna watch from the king's point of view, so he's also a super soldier. Also the other soldiers are going to attack him first. Other soldiers like to attack super soldiers and kings first. So, the king is just going to take a beating. Because no one's really helping him out over here. Alright, we'll let these guys fight that out. Throw in some geckos. Oops. So the problem is if you right click him, you also go into the cam. You know, it's really interesting when you throw in a stack of purples or something. And it's a three-way war. That's when it becomes interesting. Now this is just total mayhem. This, uh, because it's forge bucket, uh, it can use up a lot of your computer. Like for example, I'm getting 30 frames per second ish video settings. See, look, this is on max frames per second, and I even turned off my VSync because I'm using the forge. Doesn't really do anything. Well. I guess it does. Alright. It's because this mod is really intensive. And it's also because I'm playing on Flatland World. Now, that we've gone over a bunch of items, we can also do this. What's it called? Uh, Ender Pearl, right? If you throw an Ender Pearl at one of them, they become corrupt. So, just gotta wait for. S oh, wait. Now, this one is corrupt. Now you see how he has like the little ender trail behind him? He's going to make other of his kind corrupt, and he's going to, uh, they're all going to be corrupt, and they also hit each other. And he's going to be corrupt until all of them are corrupt, or until he dies. So I think there's two corrupt ones now, and it just spreads like that. Oh, there's three. We'll let him fight it out. Shift. They're not cap locks. Shift. Alright, and so, you see these things? This is a spawner. This is, like, the essential of, like, a mob spawner. And when you... You have to have a redstone trigger here. And it starts up, and it will spawn them. Now, there's nothing under it, so it can't spawn now. But over here, it should be able to spawn. Whoop. Why isn't it not... Here it is. Wow, they are going for it. Oh, yeah, here's one. Here's a couple. Just hit them. Oh. Oh, wow. Those are evil. So this one spawns them with bunnies over here. And this one... This one doesn't spawn anything yet. So that's kind of concerning. But, wow, they are really just spawning over here. We should stop. We should stop. We should stop. Gonna kill all of them? I think, I think this will be good. I think that was the right thing to do. Just to kill all of them. Alright, over here, we had an awesome war. We had like a couple of them just fly up and like murder each other. And they also they started fighting up here, but this is where the most battle was done. Alright. I wanna show you something cool. Because they have all these items that they need to get, you can actually put it into a chest as we're going to demonstrate. We can put the chest here. And let's say we want to get sticks, right? The stick. We put the stick in the chest and one of these little guys will grab it. Right there. That's the guy. He got the stick. Believe it or not. Now, there's there's like different stuff, but I think this is the basics and like what you'll want to play with. And we've also built a bunch of, like, different warriors and stuff. 
So let me just pause this for a second and uh, show you guys the recipe list from the actual mod site itself. Sorry about that, guys. I'm right back now with the Clay Soldiers mod. This is their official page. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to go through this real quick. Hopefully the video will make it to, like, 20 minutes. Something good enough. So this is basically just a view log of what they've done. There's different dyes and stuff, as we've already shown you. Uh, so sticks become weapons. Leather becomes armor. Food is stored for health later, which means that they can uh, put it into, like, little blocks. And I've already showed you guys this. You can make a leader with a gold nugget. You can make them glow. I think I've showed this to you. But you can only use the dust, apparently. They explode upon death with gunpowder. If you give them sugar, they'll run really, really, really fast. Like, they're zooming everywhere. Uh, as If a soldier has clay, he can resurrect another soldier next to him. I've already shown you guys the dirt horses. They don't waste any resources, so when they die, another you can pick up the body and plant it again. If you give them... Uh, flint and uh, wool, they'll get padded armor, and uh, with the flint they'll be able to sharpen their sticks. They can throw the redstone dust at each other, and like blind each other, and they can't really do anything. I've already shown you guys this, the slime balls is glue, uh, and I've already shown you guys this thing, I haven't really talked about the name of it, but it kills all of them, and only you can use it. Uh, iron ingots for uh, really good armor, gravel as ranged weapons, which means they pick it up and throw it at each other really far. And give stacks of logs to let them build, and I showed you guys the little houses that they build. They can also take stuff from chests. You can use the fishing rod, but you have to throw it to make sure that it actually goes into something, and then they'll gather around it. If you give them feathers, they can use it as parachutes, and they'll float perfectly down. The goggles, if you give them the goggles, it's like they can see further, and they can see the enemies. We've gone over the different animals and stuff. They can revive, and I've already shown you guys the clay cam with uh... Wait, like you can see from their point of view and they can also get stuff from chess but kind of should have expected that we showed you guys a super soldier and the king at the same time so don't get those two confused and we've shown you where they get corrupt and stuff blazer enemies with blazer rods this is for like nether and stuff they added a bunch of nether stuff in here you can use the powder and this is, this is really cool i haven't really messed around with it don't really know a lot about it so i'm not really going to get you guys into that soldier teams following dies so you can uh, change the colors of them instantly they can uh... they can use these things as like the balls as like little shields it's pretty cool actually um... yeah the cookies they can eat them just like the other stuff except they're really cheap snowballs and stuff they can slow down and burn and like they'll throw them at each other and I've seen stuff light on fire pretty well. Sugar canes and they'll throw like the gravel and stuff more accuracy. With like they'll throw it better. Mushrooms they can eat it or they can throw it at each other and they can do poison damage. If you give the bone to the king, they'll use it and attack better. It's really good actually. The coal, I haven't really gone into this, but it makes the enemies burn longer. Melon, I think I've shown you guys a little bit of this. They can like uh, heal each other with it. And the magma cream makes them evil and they run around just doing like a bunch of awesome stuff to each other lily pads they like go in the water and they float the turtles we haven't gotten into this at all because there was like no water there but like they they run around on the turtles and they don't really have like too much control of them but they have some control eggs is scent masks I have like no idea what those things do and it's kind of hard to just figure it out the shears they can dual wield weapons actually with some of them and yeah, so I've showed you guys all this. The gold, if you give gold blocks to the king, they'll do more stuff. We've gone over uh, the clay nexus and drinking milk to clear behavior items. And that's that's that can be useful, but I like the destructor better. So this is all just, this isn't like too useful. But they can throw the bricks at each other and the person who gets hit with the brick can't, uh can't take any damage. If they get hit with a uh, piece of TNT and they have a string, they won't take as much damage. Uh, the wheat seeds, I haven't really gotten into zombies, so yeah, here the cra here's the crafting. I didn't really want to show it to you guys in-game, because usually in-game crafting looks pretty bad, and well, I think you guys understand that. But basically just get this and this, and uh, you can use different things here to make different colored soldiers. This, these are the cheapest, but you can you can find these. But these are really cheap. And see, there's different ways to get different colors. 
and almost all the animals require soul sand. So if you plan on getting this mod and playing in survival, which I don't know why you would because they're not really useful in survival, they can't attack other things. This is just kind of a fun creative mod to play around with. I won't really uh, attempt to play this in survival. I might add it to like a mod pack or something. Here's the destructor to kill all of them. Here's the nexus. So yeah. Here's some more videos. And here's all the turrets and stuff to get it. So yeah. Hope you guys had a good time with this mod. I did enjoy it myself. In order to get this mod, you're going to need Forge Loader, which is a... Mm, well, I wouldn't call it messed up, but it messes with the Minecraft and how it's made. And so you actually put mods in the mod folder. But it does lower your frames per second, and if you don't have the greatest computer, I would uh, see what the Forge does before you add this. So yeah, thank you for your time. Hope you guys enjoy. This is one of the better mods I've seen. So yeah, thank you guys. Hope you guys watch some of my previous videos or my next videos. But uh this is a pretty good mod. This was I'm gonna give credit to these people. It was made by uh Sandria SP and Silver Sharon. Mm, I'm sorry if I mispronounced that guys. So yeah, see ya.